Hi everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. I've been away, so that's why I haven't been posting too many videos, but I am going to be back very, very soon. So I'm going to do a video today um, on automatic writings uh, for the collective from the DM to the DF, and I'll be pulling some cards in this as well, just to see what energies we're in right now, okay? All right, so here we go. DM to DF. I'm just tying up some loose ends and I'm quite busy this week because of all of this. I haven't forgotten you, my love. Even though you may feel neglected and worried about what's going on with me, I'm really trying to figure out what text to send you next. Sometimes I wish I could stop holding back my feelings and stop being paranoid so that I can tell you all the emotions I have inside for you. What I need is to learn to trust you more. To do this, I need to learn who you truly are as evidence for myself. The problem is that this connection is so spiritual that I feel like I know you through and through. However, in this 3D reality of physical conversations and exchanges aren't that much and I keep second guessing myself about whether spirit is playing with me or are my dreams just fake. Little by little, I'm starting to doubt myself once more. And I don't like these feelings at all. I think I need to clear myself again. My third eye seems to be veiled and I feel disconnected from you like never before. It's scary and so peaceful at the same time. I want you to know that the karmic and I are just like old friends who get along well sometimes and the feelings I have for them doesn't compare to what I feel for you. I know I have a lot of inner work to do still, so I'll be striving towards the goals that I set out for myself, and just keep hoping that you won't give up on me by then. Spirit, please give me a big breakthrough on this path of awakening soon, so that I'm not left behind. Yours truly, Daryl, Leslie, Paul, Nina, and Sam. Okay guys, so we have a letter from the DM to the F. Sorry for a little background noise. Um, I'm not in my usual studio. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pull some cards on this. And I'm getting um, an angel number for uh, this reading right here. 1752. One, seven, one, seven, All right. Let's go in for the connection. What does Spirit want us to tell, want to tell us about this connection right here? Let's see. Connection, Spirit. DM to DF connection. Okay, we have the ten of fire. Okay, all right. So, um, what spirit is telling us that there's a lot of things going on with the DM. They have to juggle a, a, a lot of different tasks right now, so they are busy, or they are trying to keep themselves busy to keep out of trouble. Right. Um, we also see that they have a lot of passion for you. Still, they want to see you. They they're making like a lot of waves. And they're fighting to come towards you, right? But it is true that they um, they have these doubts. So it's like they're making a lot of action. But in the back of their mind, they're thinking, oh my God, am I doing this for real? Am I really doing this for the DF who I know little to nothing about in the treaty? Or they may know some things about you, but not that, that much. And so they're thinking, okay, I need to get to know this person much more. So that I can trust them more because I, I know them spiritually, but I don't know them um, f in this 3D life. The five of words, so they want to get more grounded here uh, when it comes to you. And they're going to go into the forest. They're going to go on hikes. They're going to go on a little trip to see if they can get a little bit more grounded um, to clear their mind, to clear their heads and to connect with the earth, the earth's energy as well. And also to heal their body. Your person has been very tired, overworking, and they need to heal. We see the birdies speaking to them. So they're in this, um, even though they're in this earth energy, they do have a little bit of sword energy around them. So they're trying to plan. They're trying to organize themselves as well. We have the ace of fire here in reverse. So this, is, this came on the five of earth card. So this means that, yes, they're having a few um, health issues. They're feeling tired, they're feeling drained by the people around them, and they need a break. So this is something 
that they feel they need and they also need a break from this twin flame journey because they feel very overwhelmed by it and this is why they kind of felt a little bit disconnected from you and they feel like they need the they need the time to do the work that they're supposed to be doing like working on themselves and stuff right so we have the five of air in reverse so um your person does a lot of thinking um sometimes they they make good strides and then they give up so uh, I feel that this is like some downtime for your person and then a little dip right here. So you need to like send them some prayers, some light so that they can come out of it successfully. And, uh, you know, hopefully contact you very, very soon. Okay, so let's pull some cards on the comic situation right here. Okay, let me take this symbol on deck. Comic situation for the DM and DF. Okay, I'm hearing somebody say popcorn. So it's kind of like the same popcorn. So it's kind of like um, you're watching a movie and you're popping all this popcorn and you're just shoving it down your throat. You're not even thinking about what you're eating, right? Um, this is how sometimes they feel. They're like doing tasks that have no meaning just to occupy time while they go through this um, twin flame journey. It's, it's because they feel kind of out of it, feel kind of like in a trance. And they're watching their life pass before their eyes, not knowing what to do. Okay, so we have this um, this king right here in reverse. So with the comic, they make them feel like they're the slave. Okay, so let's say the opposite of the king is the one who is serving the king. So the server, they are supposed to be like worshiping the comic and that's what the comic wants here. And so this is what's going on in that comic relationship. They are the ones being told what to do, when to do it and how to do it. And we have a few, um, well, this is my black magic card right here. So we see that Scorpio energy, very heavy. Um, that's what's going on with the comic. There's some black magic going on. There's some dark energies going on. We don't like this card too much because you can see it's on the king upside down. So it's like they want to throw the um, DM off their tracks, um, keep them stuck, keep them feeling like a slave, keep their chains on, right? So. This is what's going on with the comic situation and the abundance in reverse, sucking all the money out of um, the situation, all the health and wealth. Okay, so I mean, it's a situation that they know they need to get out of and they are trying to do their best. But in the letter, they said, oh, we are like old friends. So they think the comic is their friend, but I feel here that the comic is not their friend, pretending to be their friend but it's not different. Look at that confession in reverse right there. The comic is um, just putting on a mask for the DM and is doing a lot of background work, some shady stuff that we don't like at all. Okay, let's see. What um, the spirit wanna tell us about the DM to DF connection? Let's get a little message ex um, directly from your person here. Okay, directly from your person, a little message. Okay, so your person is saying, look, I'm not going to listen to all the gossip that people are saying about us. I'm not going to listen about the gossip they're trying to spread about you, DF. I want to listen to my heart. I know who you are. Well, at least I do think I know you spiritually. So I want to get to know you more in the 3D, right? And I feel like people have been unjust with you because look at this card. When it's right side up, you see they're trying to almost like crucify someone. They have them on the stake right there. And they're going to burn someone or just, you know, punish them, right? And it's like a false punishment. That person looks so innocent, okay? So they're saying, um, it came out in reverse. So they're saying, I don't believe this. The DM is saying, I don't believe what they say about you. I want to see for myself. I want to find out for myself. I want to hear it from your mouth. Yeah, another card here of like courtship and stuff. So they're saying, I hope you're not... The DM is worried about somebody snatching you up. The DM is worried about somebody taking you away from them. Um, they heard that you were with someone else. They heard that you were walking away. Um, there's so many different things they're hearing about you and they don't want to believe it. And rightfully so, because it's not true. I mean, your person knows that there's something afoot here. Okay, somebody's spreading rumors about you. So um, the DM is going to confront you or ask you on the side or try to find out for themselves um, through some sort of like um, spying. They're going to try to find out what's really going on here. Okay. And we see this ghost running away with the Sagittarius energy right here. 
Okay, so this woman is running away from like a skeleton, skeletons in the closet and stuff like that. So what we see here is like they're saying that the DM knows that he or she scared you off, right? The DM knows that they scared you off at one point because you looked at them and you realized that they were not ready for you, right, DF? So um, what's going on right now? The DM is hoping that the next time they come around to come in your energy, that they won't scare you off as much as before, that they would have improved, that you would come up to them and they would, and you would, um, you know, caress their face and look straight at them and say, you know, I, I'm proud of you and all of that. Because the last time you weren't too proud of the DM, you weren't too happy with what they were doing and um, you decided to walk away. All right, one more card here. Okay, so the DM is saying, I'm gonna fight for you. I'm fighting a fight right now and it's a fight against myself. See, this person almost looks like the same person here. I'm fighting my inner demons and I'm fighting other people and all these obstacles for you. And I know that it is worth it and I'm trying to prevent this. I'm trying to prevent you walking away or running away from me in fear. And so they are doing the work, but it's taking longer than it should because there's always obstacles upon obstacles. Look at all these rocks at their feet. So this, your DM needs prayers, love, and light. Okay, so let's get a message from Spirit about what to focus on this week. Let's get some light messages to lighten up the energy here. Okay, so we have focus. So Spirit is saying you're not focusing enough on what is essential. We have seven, eight, nine, ten new beginnings. They're saying if you do focus on what you were supposed to be doing, which is the light work, which is your goals, which is um, whatever they told you to do. It could be something spiritual. It could be something creative. It could be something uh, less creative. Whatever it is, you know what, you, what the calling was. You need to focus on that. So Spirit is saying, if you do focus on that, they're going to be happy and they're going to send you a lot of abundance, a lot of gifts, and the DM is going to come more in your energy. They're also saying remembrance, all right? So there's something about this card. You see number 11 on there. It's about manifestation. Remember, you are the manifester. That's what Spirit is saying. You are the manifester. Look at that card. And they want you to remember that you have to keep good thoughts about the DM, about the situation, about... Um, your life, your career, all of that. And if you remember where you came from, which is the light, then everything is gonna be fine. One more. Okay, there is only light. There is only light, and we have this card right here. So Spirit is saying focus on the light work, focus on the light energy. And if you keep this in mind, we have the number three. It's all about collaboration with more than two people. So we have new beginnings, manifestation and collaboration so there might be an opportunity for networking there might be an opportunity for expanding um your your business expanding your career expanding um your awakening all of that but it has to be with more than two people here so this is group work or this is um going into meditations with your guides and stuff like that so this is what um they want to bring to you today and um, i'm happy that i was able to do it because I'm not in my usual studio, so do forgive me for any background noise. And I'm going to bring more of these. Uh, by the end of the week, I should be back. So look forward to some more readings. Love and light to you all. Take care.